Thank you. So Emily D. Baker made a response to um, Triller responded to our motion. This whole thing is so stupid. We we made a motion to dismiss, and then they responded, and then we just posted a new response today. But their response, of course, is brilliant as always. Emily D. Baked. Uh, shout out to her friend of the show. We love her. Made a little. She made a very long video about it, going over it. But we did a super cut of her reacting to some of the finer points of their uh, response to our motion. So here it is for your enjoyment. This shit gets. Triller is a privately held company. Cool. Triller became aware of a inversion issue. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Does Triller admit that it's flipped? Is that what's about to happen? It is what is happened. That what's happening? I'm so confused. They had they included a sworn testimony from their chief attorney. And, and he said there was an inversion issue on the dates from this to this. And I was like, you all just tried to sue me for saying your shit was flipped. Yeah. You just said your shit had, a, you had an inversion. It was flipped. You had an inversion Ugh, it's issue. It's flipped. <laughs> your fucking shit is flipped. You literally just put it in a sworn testimony. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Incredible. Ah, what's happening? <laughs> Um, this lawsuit's 30 times longer than the fight was. Yeah, and more entertaining, I would proffer. <laughs> it's my opinion. Oh, I think Triller admits that it's flipped. Okay. <laughs> On or about July 7th, 2021, Triller became aware of an inversion issue. <laughs> yeah, your shit is flipped. <laughs> because Yo. it was inverted. They've gone Someone with said, the top yo, gun defense. Yo, Triller, my thing's inverted. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I just y'all. I was look, I looked, I looked at the, the chart that's coming up. I did not <laughs> did not look at this. I was not, I was not prepared. <laughs> I was I was not prepared. I was not prepared. It's not flipped. It's inverted. Uploaded TikToks. If you find something interesting from a reposted TikTok, you have to leave the app, go to TikTok, search the username, find the video you just watched, hunt for a follow-up. It's absolute trash. I would not recommend this app to my enemy. Waste of time, space on my phone, and resources. Imagine trying to make a knockoff app and putting money into it. How do you prove that that person is a fan of the H3 podcast. Yeah, so uh, I'll, we'll get to this. They pulled, they included in their complaint 200 pages of one-star reviews that they got. And they're saying that we have driven all of these. Look how long this complaint is, you guys. Look at this. T literally 200 pages. See at the bottom, it says 7, 8. Look at this. Look at this. These are all one-star reviews that their app got. And they're saying that it's all my fault that that they got all these one star reviews, but they admit themselves the shit was flipped. Maybe somebody left a review because their app is unusable, flipped trash. Like God forbid somebody has a bad experience on this fucking app, and it's my fault. Ugh, it's so awkward. Look at this. I'm only on page fifty of two hundred now. They included all of this for the judge to read. Apparently, here let's just read one at random. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna have to open the document. But the amount of work they put into this is embarrassing. Or maybe they maybe they have a way of pulling it and just pasting it. I don't know. Yeah, probably spreadsheet they were able to export or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I mean, we were skimming through it, and we were seeing a lot that were just like just general Super bad generic. Like, yeah. this is a TikTok ripoff. One star. Yeah. I was like, bro, that, that's a commonly held um, opinion. Yep. And, like, if you guys want to go and give it a one star review, that's your prerogative. I mean, rate it whatever your heart tells you. It could be one or five stars. I mean, I personally wouldn't want to use an app that was just a rip up of TikTok. That'd be a one star for me. Flipped. And I would it give, was. and I would leave a review, and I did. Right. Personally speaking, that's fair. And they go, "Oh, they're laughing and snickering. No laughter. I'm saying this. I'm serious as a fucking heart attack. I'm saying this stone cold sober right now. <laughs> You're saying it's stoned. <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait. No, I have to say this with a straight face because otherwise they'll add to the complaint that I was laughing. Right. Which proves 
that I'm trying to get everyone to go give them one star. Give it a one star review right now if that's what you think this app deserves. I gave it a one star because I don't like the app. And frankly, I don't like the owner. That's an enough reason to give it a one star. This guy. I mean, it's a public forum. It's like, it's not that serious. You know? People can have their opinions about your app, man. Sorry, bro. You're in the public space. Welcome to America. First Amendment, dipshit. Yep. Free speech for me, but not for thee. Yeah, we're only halfway through. Do you see all these complaints? <laughs> it's insane. They literally put this all in a fucking motion, bro. This is like the, the silliest shit I've ever seen. So I want to pull from it and read some. That is a legitimate criticism. The app is all re-uploaded TikToks and it's annoying. Okay. Wow. Trash Ethan app. Also, me. Ryan Kavanaugh was accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi a scheme. Anything, anything else you want to put on my lap? Your, your marriage fell apart. Is that my fault too, Ryan? How many divorces you on now? You want to put them all on me? Were the DUIs your fault? Mm-hmm. Two DUIs, Ryan. Those are both my fault. What else? Being sued by your nanny? Was it me that forced you not to pay her, Ryan? This fucking guy. Hard, hard pass, fam. Again, that was a news article. Forging a, a document accusing his ex-president of sexual assault so he didn't have to pay him um, Allegedly. a severance. That's fraud. Um, allegedly. I'm too high to correct you, so yeah, allegedly. I believe that's... Well, that's what the judge that's said. What the, yeah. A judge at one point said that, yes. Yeah, so I'm just I'm paraphrasing mm -hmm. what okay. the judge said. It's fucking fraudulent. Same with the Ponzi scheme. That's what Variety said. Later retracted. Right, they did... They did retract elements of that story. <laughs> How do you prove where they heard the news article from? How do you prove this to a jury? We're too high for this shit. <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm uh, just thinking of yeah, being yelled at yeah. by your lawyer. <laughs> AB's usually the point man on this. He goes, uh, I'm, I'm out. Send someone in in the, in the fourth quarter. Is that what they say? <laughs> yep. I think so. <laughs> What sport are you referring to, AB? <laughs> <laughs> she sent someone else saying, I'm on the, put me on the bench. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, you, what, what sport are we doing? Uh, basketball. Basketball have halves, I think. No, they have quarters. Oh, they do? They have halves and yes. quarters. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm just exposed myself. Great. Just a complete TikTok ripoff, rip but without the entertainment, no one's on there. It's a dead app. Also, I heard the owner is accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme, yeah. and I'm not about to support yeah. that. Written by Variety. Kind of behavior. Um, yeah. Somebody's going to be like, yeah, I heard he also sold LuLaRoe. It's a joke. That's not a joke. Variety did write an article about how he was accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme. But anyway, let's open the complaint because they're desperate to prove that all of these reviews, they are desperate for us to read these bad reviews, apparently, which is what we're going to do. Basically, that's what they've achieved. I mean, it's a public filing, so I have every right. I don't know. How do I... Do I have to download it, Dan? Like, it's so small. Oh, yeah, probably. They're court docs. Google Drive's a PDF viewer. is not very good. The shit's flipped, dude. The shit's flipped. So it's pretty big for a fucking PDF because it's got like 200 pages. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I come from the island, man. I leave one star review on the Trilla page. Or five. Brian Kevin. Uh, if you come to the island and smoke, or if you come to the island and get drunk, you go to jail. No we don't like drunk driving. Let's think of how to dig ourselves out of this. We world. just smoke weed. And be happy every day. But if you come to the island and get drunk and drive, you go straight to jail. I don't know. Sorry. Apologies. Not no driving. partner, no scheme. Hmm? No <laughs> partner, no <laughs> scheme. <laughs> oh, yeah. How's that go? Uh, no, no partner, partner no, no scheme. scheme. I remember I remember up. coming from the Ponzi town Looking for a partner to scheme 
I couldn't find me no partner, no partner, partner no, no scheme. scheme. <laughs> Then I picked up a bottle of rum And I drank myself silly Then I got in my car Drove his drunk and got pulled over My name is Ryan Kavanaugh Two DUIs <laughs> at my doorstep <laughs> There you go Two no. DUIs at my doorstep Lord, no, no, please No alcohol, no drive <laughs> No alcohol, alcohol no, no drive. drive. <laughs> I, uh, my president come to me and say, Please, can I have a raise? I said, Well, my, my company's going bankrupt. So I falsely accuse you of sexual assault, uh, harassment. That's fraud. No, lying under oath. Did it's like hey the baby allegedly. sitter. <laughs> this is the it's life and times of Ryan Kavanaugh. Good luck putting that in a complaint. Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> he look, I look. They say I look like Harvey Weinstein, but he's just a bloke to me. <laughs> no Ponzi, no scheme. They say I look like Harvey Weinstein, but that don't mean nothing. No Ponzi, no scheme. You know what's the difference between Ryan Kavanaugh and Harvey Weinstein? One's in jail, one's soon to be in jail. Oh. <laughs> For financial things, not sexual things. To be very clear. Oh, wait, which one's Ryan and which one's Harvey? Uh, the one on the right is Harvey. The one on the left is Ryan. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Harvey has not <laughs> aged well at all in prison. <laughs> prison has been hard on Harvey, man. Yeah. And Ryan. Uh, it's falling apart. <laughs> Do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just imagining they add this complaint. On screen, they put a picture of an orc and a picture of Harvey Weinstein, alleging that Ryan was the Harvey Weinstein and the orc is Harvey Weinstein, your honor. Defamation. All right, let's read some bad reviews. Here's the first one out of like 10,000. I had this app once and it was garbage. Recently heard they flipped it since then. Dumpster fire app. Straight out the gate. That could be anyone Sounds for any fucking me. reason. Right? Yeah. What the fuck? See, si, senor. See, si, senor? Y yes. You know what's interesting in their um, breakdown of why um, it was flipped? They specifically say it was flipped on iOS devices where many of these complaints were from Android users and therefore could not have experienced the bug. Wow. Like they were trying to explain that. Wow. But look at these reviews that they included. They don't indicate what operating system any of these are on. Right. They don't even include that information. Yeah. They don't even it's have worthless. the evidence. Right. Which is the whole point. Their whole lawsuit is just, there's no, there's not, they don't even plead like, they don't even like plead basic information. Yeah. Here. Ponzi Cav, the user is. I was just chilling and then it just flipped. Okay, well, so we know that Variety <laughs> wrote an article about him running a Ponzi scheme. Right, yeah. So that explains the name. He probably read they that article. They could have heard about that. Yeah, they probably heard it from yeah. Variety. The same Variety. way we did it. Yeah. You guys heard of Variety? It's like a huge publication. Big trade paper. And then he they admit that it was flipped, so why the fuck is that my fault? Let's skip go to page 10 billion. Here, page 11. I wish I could give Triller a rating of 0.25 stars. The app bombards you with information as soon as you open it. When I open Triller on my phone, I'm immediately confronted with the CEO of Triller, Ryan Kavanaugh, who's accused of running a Ponzi scheme by his ex-partner, Variety. He obviously read that article. The CEO of Triller, Ryan Kavanaugh, looks shockingly like Harvey Weinstein. I mean, that's just plain to see. Like, you... That's just plain to see. I mean, I don't know why you would put that on me. Um, whom has a personal ties with yeah you see, I've seen pictures of them together he has an overwhelming foot odor see I don't know anything about that 
I don't know why, but I just smell feet when I open this app. I'd rather submit to the tyranny of Mark Zuckerberg and give Facebook complete control over my identity and self, sense of self, than use Trilla for even one second longer than I already have. Sorry that your app sucks, dude. Not my fucking fault. You know? Look at this. I sense a lawsuit coming from TikTok as this is a direct ripoff, except 10 times worse. One star. What does that have to do with me, your honor? Yeah, that's a common sentiment. It is a ripoff of TikTok. I mean, straight up! <laughs> yeah. And he was colluding with the Trumps. Well, that's probably something I should put an asterisk near. <laughs> Allegedly. Wait, <laughs> what? Well, well, because with the during Trumps? the whole oh, when China what? was tr when when Trump was trying to shut down TikTok, right. was the only reason why anyone even gives a fuck about Triller. Yeah, and now all of a sudden he's like besties with the Trumps, hmm. and also with Steve Munchin. Apparently, he's besties with <laughs> Mnuchin. Yeah, yeah Trump Mnuch has no need to Mnuchin these TikTok. nuts. Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking got him. <laughs> I can't tell you. Thank you. I'm a little slow on the job. Look, here's one. Ugh, so awkward. One star. That's Noah Beck! Play it, Zach! <laughs> He's quoting Noah Beck! I never said that! Ugh, Zach. so awkward. Thank you. Why is it so awkward? Yo, Triller, my thing's flipped. Their own fucking user. This isn't a- He owns portions of Triller, Noah Beck. Right? Ugh, it's so flipped. He may be, a, yeah, he's an investor, He's right? in deep, man. Yeah. So your own people are saying one star. I'm checking now, just give me like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, 200 pages of this shit. Let's go to the bottom. Let's see who got the last spot. Let's see here. All the way down, boys and girls. Um... The very last one here that they're pinning. See, this one even got two stars. Like, by the way, some of these have five stars. This is a five star review. You put in a five star review. You want to, so, 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 which so beautiful app for TikTok copy. That's the review from Madhav Gamer. Five stars. What the fuck, bruh? Someone want to explain that shit to me? That does seem like an oversight, does it not? So if I'm responsible for the one stars, then clearly I'm responsible for this five star review as well. This is I insane. Mean, you've consistently. Here's another five. Wait, 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 wait. Here's another one. This app is fantastic, and the videos also. It's a copy of TikTok, but wait, dude, look at the dates. Did you catch this? It says January nine. That was like way before any of this started, was it not? <laughs> I don't know. When was the Jake Paul fight? It was podcast? in like spring of this year. <laughs> this is such a... Right? This, it was April, I believe. Yes, yeah, so... there's They included shit that was before you even knew anything about Triller or Ryan Kavanaugh. So basically, this is a bad faith, the same shit they do. They dumping a bunch of shit here that like... Has nothing to do with me and uh, and trying to confuse the drug the judge. Big massive dump. It's I mean, pathetic. How could they fuck that up? Like they, they fuck up everything. They're literally the just worst fucking lawyers. No, they're lit. All they're trying to do is bleed me dry. This is a spite lawsuit. They're right. trying to waste as much money as possible. It's crazy. It's literally a spite lawsuit. Yeah. They call them dumps. Aww. And then we have to respond to all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like here, this guy says the app is fantastic. I like it. Five star. Really? Wow. That's rough. Sorry you had to read that, Ryan. That was clearly my fault, right? <laughs> I'm sorry for I'm sorry for influencing people to like your app, dipshit. What an asshole. Yeah, so anyway, in, in, in honor of Ryan Kavanaugh. We actually, well, thanks to love, this is kind of a passion project of mine and loves, I'd say. Yeah. Yes. You guys really, really blew me away with this one. <laughs> well, there's been a lot of confusion about Ryan looking like Harvey Weinstein. How do we tell these two gentlemen apart? Um, I guess I shouldn't call Harvey a gentleman. 
I say I use that colloquially. So we made a website. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein dot com? You can visit it now. It's a comprehensive analysis. It's a public service. Oh, look at the mic flag on. Uh, yeah, it's a variety. Oh, so he has excellent. heard of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you have heard of variety, Ryan. <laughs> Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? The public is confused. Right. We asked 10,600 internet users if they thought Ryan Kavanaugh and Harvey Weinstein looked alike. The outcome was shocking. Now, this is a poll we did on the podcast July 30th. Now, nine. what is it? Uh, look, I mean, this is overwhelming. These are all look alike. I think do it was approximately like. 95%. 95% think they yeah. looked alike. So clearly. I was, I was part of the 5%. Which which means everything. Yeah, I'm not saying you, that he doesn't really. I know like you've been him. holding out. Five yeah. percent difference is astronomical. Yeah, so the public is confused. So now, basically, despite looking nearly identical, they are different people. So I just want this is basically I'm clearing the air for Ryan. Uh, clearing the air in the sense of you're making sure that he knows he's not Harvey Weinstein. Right. That they're. Oh, I see. Well, oh. I don't know if people are like, Yo, Harvey Weinstein, let's get him. Right, 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 right. When they see yeah, him that on could street. Get, yeah, that's a good point. That could get dangerous. So just to be clear, this is the guy that's suing me. Mm -hmm, right. Who just who just published 200 pages of one-star and five-star reviews. <laughs> right. Before and after our, our, our copyright infringement. Right. And this is Harvey Weinstein. Alleged copyright infringement, by the way. Right. Wait. Well, well. The thing is, fair use is like copyright infringement. It's just legal copyright infringement. Can you I see. can you AB them again? I, I think I, I, don't I, I couldn't spot the. So this is Ryan here. That's Ryan. This is Ryan, and That's, this is Harvey. I'm oh. afraid. I'm afraid. Oh, you are I think it's. I think you're flipped. I think you. Oh, flipped. it's flipped. Yeah, okay. it's it's. Flipped. Wait, this is Ryan. That's that's Harvey. I don't know about this website clearing the air. Hold on, I think you need to scroll down. Wait, there's no confused. name key. There's we need names uh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm okay. Let's go down and maybe. Wait, wait. You know what? It says right below there, Ryan and Harvey. So I'm going to assume the left is Ryan because his name is. This is on Ryan. The left. Oh, that's okay. Ryan. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go down. We can clear it up. Okay. 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 This is good. So here, Ryan is on the left and Harvey is on the right. So this is Ryan Kavanaugh. Okay. And then this is Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> right. And you can see the similarities. <laughs> <laughs> so does that help clear it up or is it still confusing? <laughs> yeah, no, that. Uh, I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Well, there's another one here. <laughs> <laughs> this one is better. So this yeah. one, so yeah, Ryan is on the right. This is Ryan. Uh -huh, right. And then this is Harvey. Mm -hmm. So you can really tell, you can see how similar they are. So that's Harvey Let's on the look left. look at the eyes. Yeah, you have to look at the name. Oh, okay. In the top right, it says Harvey. So right. Harvey's on the Which left. Which means if I move it to the right, it's Harvey. That's Harvey. Yeah. This is Harvey. <laughs> that's, you seem to be flipped once again. There's a lot I'm of. Sorry, I, I'm. It's very. They look very similar. But okay, okay. I see. I see. So this is Harvey Weinstein. That's correct. Okay. This is Ryan Kavanaugh. Uh, now this website's gonna help you got a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. The public is confused. Yeah, they are. Well, uh, go ahead, love. You're the architect. Before that, I mean, it's very important that we let everyone know. So I just want to implore our fans and viewers to share this website on our Discord or no, sorry, on our Reddit. Mm -hmm. and just upvote all the posts with this link on it and we, we can all just vote up each other's posts yeah I hear that and, that helps yeah. the SEO a lot well I want more people yeah. to see the website because the public is confused mm -hmm. and, one and you know go ahead love mm -hmm. you're doing great okay so one more, one more thing there <laughs> when you try to find this website don't write it in the address bar directly well let it's me let me stop you there love it's just yeah. it's too long of a title yeah. to type directly into the URL. <laughs> Does Ryan Kavanaugh right. look like Harvey Weinstein? It'd be better to type it into Google in case there's a typo or something like that, right, love? That that clears everything up. There is no <laughs> issues. There's because the URL has to be exact, and that that's so hard. Right? To do. Yeah, it's a lot of words. Take up a page from from the Don Ark herself, Donna, and you know Google the website that you're trying to. Okay, let me to do it right now. Typing it in. So like this. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? Question mark. Yeah. 
Oh, see, you had a typo right there. That would have that would have thrown everything. Oh, off. so here wow. it is, number one. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's that easy. I had a typo. It wouldn't have worked. Right. So you just click this, and spend some time on the page reading it. Oh yeah, for sure. That's there's that's, good information here, which we'll get into. Yeah. So we get we did these side by sides. The public is confused. I said alarming. Something must be done. <laughs> and Noah Beck famously said, "My thing is flipped." Right. So, Those are two members of the public. Ugh, it's so flipped. <laughs> um, if you go here, it's just kind of a general... Oh, this is actually, if if you hover over, you will see the name. Right, so there's an answer. So you can take a guess you. before oh. you hover. I thought that was like memory. The, I uh, thought that was Ryan's DUI right there, but I, that's Harvey, I guess. The one where he's being held uh, up. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that's so Harvey. Oh, okay, hover, so the names are helpful. Guess. You know, Ethan and Love, I really have to thank you on behalf of the public for making such a... Uh, Beautiful. Well, thank you for saying that. We worked a lot. It was very it's an important project for us. You know we like to do charities. We like to do public uh, we're PSAs. Mm, uh, yes. So this is just a long line of our public services. Yes. Yeah. So in the top right, let's try the game. Top right, that looks like Harvey. Fuck, it's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so we still have a ways to go. But uh, we can get you better gotta, at gotta, it. I think study them like, you know, flash Flash Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, Go ahead. You want to try one? Yeah, the left. That's Harvey. Top left. That's Top Harvey. Top left. That's Harvey. Nope, that's Ryan. Oh, Damn it. I got to study, dude. That's Ryan. Uh, Ryan, Kevin, and Harvey Weinstein. The pictures below display a seemingly friendly relationship between the two former movie producers. So here, <laughs> we kind of just showed a little bit, just like, especially when you see them side by side, which you often did. How confusing it can be, um, as we've 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 uh, exemplified with the red markings here, circles. See, as Ryan looks at uh, with ad ador adoring eyes on Harvey. He, look at his attention. He has got full attention on Harvey here. <laughs> uh, look at these buddies. I mean, even going as far to kiss Harvey Weinstein on the head. Oh, wow. You know. Yeah, this might. This might just be the weed talking, but I don't. I don't see the resemblance. Are you fucking well, high, bro? I mean, that's fine. I wish. I wish my my objective with this website is to have more people relating with your perspective yeah. than vice versa. Right. So you're an example of this website working, Dan. So you must have high. I did spend facial, a lot of time on it. Yeah. You must have like high facial awareness. Yeah. Because have you heard of like face blindness where people can't tell the difference? Right. I have the condition that's the opposite of that. Yeah. You have high facial awareness. I have that. Yeah. I feel like I see James Charles just everywhere, everywhere I go. <laughs> right. True. Yeah. That's true. So we wrote up a little bit about um, a Ryan bio a biography. Mm -hmm. Oh, he. But so this is just there's a big unibrow here we added. And it yeah. says this image mm -hmm. is altered so you can tell Ryan apart from Harvey easier. Mm. Yeah. So this is not. We added this. This was not Unibrow, Ryan Kavanaugh. Also, do, all, do all of the images of Ryan Kavanaugh have a unibrow then? Just this one. Hmm. I'm not Maybe really sure how that the future helps. Future. Yeah, okay. Maybe well, when you see the whole body, is Anyway, let me read his, his biography. Yeah. Ryan Kavanaugh is an American film producer and film financer. He is the founder and former CEO of now bankrupt Relativity Media. This studio was the third largest mini major... Jesus, how many, how are you gonna, it's like, third largest mini major studio. A lot of qualifiers there. Yeah. Before bankruptcy hit back in 2015. Some uh, speculate that the bankruptcy was due to poor management. Now he's the CEO, or I guess majority owner of Triller, I guess it uh, would be more accurate. Hmm. Ryan Kavanaugh is also the owner, CEO, and brain behind the app, website, and brand Triller. Triller is a video sharing platform similar to TikTok. Uh, the platform has recently garnered an increase in downloads because of prominent podcast H3 Podcast has promoted it. Hmm. And actually, maybe what we should add, love, is that it's it's been it has had five star reviews attributed to the H3 Podcast, oh, yeah. such as, and then you can include those ones in the complaint they showed. Yes, I'll allow that for sure. <laughs> it seems like yeah, very important. Um, the platform is not as giant as its re rival TikTok, but it does have major names such as Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio. Oh, you did the same typo as they had, right? Oh, that's a mistake, yeah. Justin Bieber, 
Josh Richards, Noah Beck. Oh, not Kevin Hart. He's been removed. Tyga, Sway T, and The Weekend. The, the Weekend also, also spelled wrong. Ryan, Ka- so there's a little bit about Ryan. Uh, he actually has DUIs. In October 2008, <laughs> while still on probation for an earlier conviction for a DUI, Kavanaugh was arrested for drunk driving, speeding, and driving with a suspended license from an earlier conviction for DUI. Sounds bad. Uh, that was in 2008. In 2018, he w- lied under oath. Hmm. 2018 claims of sexual harassment from seven women at Relativity against former Relativity co-president Adam Fields was found to have been the result of fraudulent uh, mem- me- memorandum, memorandum drafted according to the arbiter judge Terry Friedman by Relativity CEO Ryan Kavanaugh himself. The attorney who Kavanaugh testified who uh, testified, authored the memo, denied authoring the memo during her deposition and was not employed by Relativity when it was created. As a result, the ar- the arbiter awarded Fields $8.44 million. After a forensic audit on the computer was conducted, it was found that the memo had been generated from someone who signed it as Cav Cav. A curious clue as to the uh, memo's author. Kavanaugh, Cav, Cav. Ponzi scheme, 2019, one year later. 2019, Elon Spar signed a complaint under oath, alleging that Kavanaugh persuaded him to go into business together under false pretense. The suit, however, was resolved out of court. This story was covered in June 7th, 2019, Variety article, Ryan, uh, Ryan Kavanaugh accused by ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme. Do we need to make any amendments to this? I don't know what your lawyer say. I can't talk about what my lawyer said. Okay. It's uh, privileged. Fair enough. I think our audience has heard uh, of these stories once or twice before on the show. Well, I don't know if we need to read it in excruciating <laughs> detail. Well, really? I find it fascinating. Okay. Well, this, well what it's I, up to you. Yeah, I mean, Kavanaugh, he stiffed his babysitter. Mm-hmm. She had to sue him for 175000 after oh. he abruptly fired her two months into a 13-month contract. Um, anyway, you can read it, that and more. We're constantly updating the website, right, love? Yes, yes, all the time, yeah. <laughs> so I guess if fans want to like write text and stuff, or, or uh, like original text, maybe that we could add that and stuff. Maybe, a, oh. Who knows? Fan submitted content? Well, we'll have to vet it first, yeah. yeah. Maybe to make sure it's factual. Suggestion box or Absolutely. something. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, go ahead and check it out. Google it. And uh, just shout out for this huge public service. And I was going to give myself a pat on the back. Very impressive, guys. Very impressive. Love, Ethan. You guys really put together something special here. Thank you so much.